My name is Austin Okrinsky. I'm part owner of Extreme Offroad and Performance out of Katy, Texas. Basically, we're a full automotive customizing shop. Our specialty is custom trucks. You know, we do all things, cars, trucks, SUVs, ATVs, all that, but our main specialty is big, bad trucks. So basically, you come in with a truck, whatever make it may be, you have this idea or this modification you're interested in doing, we help you do that. So we make your, you know, your dream or your idea become a reality. Whether it's something you already know you want or something we help you design and build, that's what we're about. We're extreme, man. We build some of the wildest uh, show trucks and uh, vehicles on the market and, you know, in the show scene. They're daily drivers. <laughs> I have guys that bring them to like, uh, like parking garages and they have to park outside because the truck's so big it won't fit in there. I mean, there's really no limit. It's, it's limitless. It's your uh, imagination is, you know, we can take it as far as we can from very, very basic to very, very, you know, crazy and unique, just depending on, it's all depends on what you want to do and your budget to do it. For example, someone comes in, wants to build a full one of a kind show truck, best of the best, we do full custom suspension, paint work, motor work, interior, car audio, um, custom lighting. I mean, just basically transform it from being a stock vehicle to something that looks nothing like anybody else has on the road. You know, we've done Chevy truck for somebody before that's twin turboed and full built, you know, 427, uh, you know, LS7 motor and 1,000 plus horsepower on it. You know, in the United States, trucks are very, very prominent among all the manufacturers, but more so down in the South in Texas. I mean, everybody uses trucks for work or fun or, you know, going hunting or going to the ranch, off-roading, uh, pulling their boat, pulling trailers, hauling the family around, picking up stuff. And, you know, they're just also, they're a big, nice car to drive and people, you know, enjoy having them. And, you know, the things you can do to them are, uh, you know, limitless really with how crazy you want to get with them. Especially in Texas, from what we know, I mean, the truck scene is very, very prominent, just as much or more than any of the sports car scene. I mean, most, most people that own a you know, sports car also own a truck, so most of them have a truck and everybody who wants to modify their car also wants to modify their truck. The truck scene is, it's kind of funny. It's, you know, like who's got the biggest and best stuff? You see it more like the car shows, that's where we see it the most. You see guys with, my truck is bigger and I've got the baddest paint job on it. You know, it, it's funny, it's, it's really competitive. Biggest, brightest, loudest. You know, everything's bigger in Texas. <laughs> the bigger, the better. It's fun to see everybody's look on their face, you know, when they see the vehicle for the first time or they get really excited, they ask us a lot of questions. And I think the best part is when you deliver a finished product to the customer and they're just blown away. That's kind of what it's all about. I mean, you work so hard um, building these and creating this stuff every day. It's very rewarding and you know, very fun at the end of it to see it traveling to a show or see it to show up on a magazine cover or you know, see somebody's excitement when they see the finished product of how excited they are to you know, what, they've cre you know, what we've helped them create and what it's become. It's, it's real enjoyable. Some of these full, full projects where we basically take a brand new truck, strip everything off of it, you know, powder coat and paint, you know, all the axles and the frame suspension, do the paint jobs, interior. I mean, they averagely take two to three months to build, working on them every single day. There's just that much detail and that much, you know, that many parts in them from outside and in that you have to touch on them. So it's just very time consuming. That was a truck that you know I built for me personally for the SEMA show a few years ago, and then uh, an NFL player ended up buying it from us. That he really liked it, and he saw it on the cover magazine, and he wanted it. But I try to make everything unique in its own way. Like I'm, you know, a lot of my big show cars, you know, are similar to that one. They have custom paint jobs and custom colors. So I'll make a theme. We'll do different color schemes or what have you. And you know, on the artwork, I always try to put something personal in there. Like whether it's, you know my initials or you know the, on that one there's one of my dogs airbrushed in there in the background just some some little personal piece incorporated in it, incorporated into it that makes it unique from you know what everyone else has and i can be like look this is something that's you know mine personal that i put in there it's a full kelderman air ride system it's fully automated probably with the press of a button you can go from a six inch lift to a 10 inch lift to a 14 inch lift um, 
It's got three settings on there. Um, it's one of the top of the line suspensions on the market right now. Um, a lot of guys like it because you press that button and drop down the lift and you can actually park it in your garage, that kind of stuff. It's, it's convenient and at the same time you can show off uh, whenever you want to. You know, we've done a uh, full paint job. Um, it's got the road armor front and rear bumpers. It's got RBP's uh, grill on there. Um, you know, we've done all the interior. It's got uh, Rockford Fosgate sound system in there. And then we've got, of course, you know, the bigger wheels and tires, 40 inch Toyo open country mud terrain tires. And it's got uh, the fuel off-road wheels on there. And I think they're 22 by 14. So it's a pretty wide wheel and tire combination too, which gives it that aggressive stance. Uh, so the white and pink Jeep, um, we, you know, we went to SEMA last year and we saw a couple different people doing some white and pink themes. And, you know, we said, you know what, we need to do something like that and just kind of put our own touch on it. Austin decided he wants to, to build something nice for his wife. And uh, that thing has been uh, a, a real eye catcher. You know, it stops everybody's wife, it stops our customers, it stops, you know, everybody. Because they, they look at it and you see a white and pink Jeep, you're like, what is this, man? It's the, the Barbie mobile, you know? Um, but it, it's fully decked out. I mean, I, I, I wouldn't mind driving it every day, you know? It's, even though it's got the pink on there, it's, it's, it's a really nice Jeep. For all the suspension and uh, the work that we put into it, I mean, it's, it's very well-rounded and good built. It's got like a bedazzled box in there. Uh, it's got the two kicker woofers in there and like the full interior, we did uh, like some nice leather kit and we hydro dipped all the panels in like a pink zebra. <laughs> we also did that under the hood. It's, you know, it's a little flashy, but I mean, that's what we did. We, we built it, you know, to break necks, to stop people and then, hey, what is that? I've never seen something like that before. So I think it does the job. Yeah, I mean, we've made so many crazy ones, but you know, one of my favorites, I, I always try to outdo myself each time, you know, the ones that I personally do for myself. And like, like I said, a lot of times they're always built for the SEMA show or for a magazine or something like that. I try to, you know, do something different every time, but get better and better at it and use newer, newer stuff each time. Um, for example, one of the ones I did last year for the SEMA show was a Dodge that I built, um, a 2500, and it was on a 16 inch lift and it was all Lamborghini orange underneath and crazy, you know, clown paint job on the side and full interior custom sound system. I mean, it was one of the most, most time consuming detailed builds that we've ever done. And it, I mean, it, that truck, the popularity and the exposure that truck's gotten is just unreal. I mean, it's every day it's popping up on something. I mean, it's just, I spent a lot of time and a lot of attention to detail, you know, making sure every aspect of the thing was just perfect. And, you know, every, everything on it had detail touched on it. And, you know, that's, that's the end result is just to make it something that everybody's just crazy about at the end of the day.